A visiting delegation of European lawmakers from the Interparliamentary Alliance on China, or IPAC, has compared Taiwan to Ukraine. In a visit to the legislature on Wednesday, the delegation said it came to show support for Taiwan and democracy. Members said Taiwan was on the front line against a colonial and influential state, China. The group, which includes eight lawmakers from Britain, the Netherlands, Belgium and Germany, is on a four-day visit to Taiwan. This is IPAC's first visit to the country. The bloc includes lawmakers from 29 countries working to change how democratic nations approach relations with Beijing. They are expected to meet with President Tsai Ing-wen on Thursday. Taiwan Plus reporter Rick Lauert spoke to a lawmaker from the Netherlands, Sjord Schurzma, who is leading the IPAC delegation. Could you tell us why this delegation is visiting Taiwan? Democracy worldwide is under attack, whether it's through the physical, naked physical aggression of Russia against Ukraine, but also, of course, the slow eroding campaign waged by Beijing. So we're here to show our solidarity with Taiwan, but also, of course, to see whether we can strengthen our relationships. We know that in the lead up to visits like this, lawmakers often face pressure or intimidation from Beijing not to go. Can you tell us why you still wanted to make this trip uh, in spite of opposition from China? Well, I think, first of all, uh, we need um, more parliamentary delegations, more visits, not less. I think uh, we need more meaningful participation of Taiwan in international organizations such as the World Health Organization, the UN Climate Organization, the UN Civil Aviation Organization, and our countries can support Taiwan and making sure that this actually happens. But also, and I think this is cru crucial, now that we see that Beijing and Russia are trying to replace the international system, friends like European countries and Taiwan need to cooperate in strengthening their economic ties, trade ties, investment ties, uh, because we simply cannot depend on uh, the economy in Beijing anymore. Can you tell us a little bit about how attitudes towards China and Taiwan are changing in Europe? And the question we're all asking ourselves is, if we'd known uh, beforehand for sure that Russia would have invaded in, uh, Ukraine, would we have done anything differently? Would we have done anything differently in supporting Ukraine and pressurizing Russia? Now, of course, we cannot change the past of, U of Ukraine and Russia, but perhaps we can help change the future of Taiwan because Taiwan is being faced, of course, with a similar situation, a situation in which Beijing is not only policy-wise very clear, but also outspoken in the words of their president uh, that, um, you know, Taiwan is, uh, is facing a threat uh, by Beijing. Now, we all recognize, and I think this, this urgency is new, I think, in Europe, that the consequences of a Chinese move on Taiwan would be manifold the consequences that we've already felt from an invasion in Ukraine. So this sense of urgency and the sense that, you know, countries like Taiwan need our solidarity, I think that's absolutely new, but also heartfelt.